Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Snake VR, Luis Alvarez, Max Radliff, Landon Lado, Michael Abeta, and Goyulas200. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below in the description to find out more. Thanks again. Something is strange. This is the second time that I have officially finished the first season of uh, My Hero Academia. And, um, honestly, I don't mind it. You know? Because My Hero Academia, such a fun anime. It is. It's, it's such a really, really fun, just awesome anime just to sink your teeth into. Yeah. And so far, what have you made of it? This just from the first season alone. Uh, I've been enjoying it a lot. Like it's one of those anime that has enough going on to keep you interested. Um, like uh, just through like the characters themselves and such. Basically, like it, essentially, like just making these characters as unique and cool as each of them are. It almost, like, writes itself, pretty much, it feels like. Mm -hmm. And, I don't know. Like, I'm excited to see where it goes and stuff. Well, yeah, I'm... yeah, I, And me, I'm excited to see where it goes when we get to the point where I stopped, which is episode 9 of season 2. That's where we official. That's where I officially stopped. So, okay. Uh, Nick? So, what are you expecting here in the finale of, uh, of season one. You expecting anything or are you just, you, or are you just, um, I don't know because I feel like there's a percent chance it could go one of a couple ways. Mm. Um, okay. Either all might is going to die mm. or not. And if not, I feel like he's now probably further injured and possibly will have even more trouble being All Might. And I feel like there's also the possibility that it could be revealed to um, at least the class that he is not in the best of health anymore. But I'm not sure. Mm. Alright. But it seems like they've basically won the fight at this point. It's just what are the results, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I get that. And that's true. That's very, very true. I mean, the fight is won, but yeah, I just... That just... I guess we'll have to see how things pan out. So, um, Prometheus is working, but <laughs> silly us, we forgot the uh, we forgot that we left the monitor down at uh, Primordic. So that's a whole thing. Anyway, we are going to uh, be turning on the uh, display capture. Yeah, this is going to look a little You're bit going weird. To see into oblivion for a second. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> So, yeah, this is My Hero Academia, Season 1, Episode 13, In Each of Our Hearts. So, here we go. The only thing that sucks about this setup is if OBS freezes. Yeah, oh, God, you're right. Don't. D d d knock on wood. <laughs> Poor guy. He tried his damnedest. Yeah. He took out most of them. It's just he fried himself in the process. He got that seven-year itch, man. Look at him. He's just like, he, he can't take it. He's quit doing a lot of meth. I have no idea what's going on right now. I'm high as hell. This doesn't look good. It does not. Shit. Shit. The handyman can. Damn. 
my epic gunslinger. That's right. Uh-huh. Guess what, boys and girls? It's time for the teacher to show you what's up. <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder what he did. Yeah! <laughs> Oh. Oh, he summons mimics. Well, the pro heroes are here. Oh. Oh, you done pissed him off. Hey. I say every time he uses that power, his his limb his limbs always look like beef jerky. So there we go. That's it's a hell of a resolution right there. <laughs> hmm. That's cool power. Yeah. I'd like to have it. I'd make a house. I'd just be like... Just make a house right there. Yes. He's got so many holes in him. I think I'm going to rename his superhero name from the handyman to Swiss cheese. Hmm. He's like, I will, but I kind of need a hospital first. Yeah, I kind of got some holes in there. In my hands. And my knees. And my arms and shoulders. And that's why people don't want to talk to you. Because yep. you're a conceited douchebag. Oh, he gonna have a... You know, I bet I bet that uh, Cat makes a joke every time he's confronted with uh, having to do paperwork. Oh, I'm caught in the me I'm caught in the middle of a mountain of paperwork. It's like the cats from uh, Monster Hunter. They add like meow to like all the words that they say that start with M. My meow Marie. Oh. oh boy. So pretty much, yeah, it's just. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's gonna be strong. That random pair of floating gloves. Yeah. It's just funny because you know that that's the only thing that she's wearing. Yeah. Just <laughs> nobody will ever know. <laughs> And I thought about that too. I'm just like, is she really walking around in the buff or does she have like invisible clothing? Or is it like a force field thing? Is like a force field thing that uh, you can't really see or do anything about. Could be just like an active camo type deal. Maybe. Okay, so here we go. A little bit of a after credit scene. Very. So, yeah. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, that to is... To be continue. To be a continue. Season 2. Okay, so it didn't freeze up. Thank goodness. Yeah. Okay, so... 
<clears throat> what, uh, so, it seems as though those two that were, that brought Nomu to, uh, to fight All Might, you know, the Void and the Handyman, um, turns out they were pawns themselves. Mm-hmm. They weren't great masterminds or anything like that. They were just sent to do a mission. Yeah, so there's like some even bigger villains higher up above them, probably. Seems to be that way. They said they can't move freely, so I wonder if that's because like their identities are already known to the pro heroes or something. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Um, let's see. I, I would say... Mm, Maybe their identities are known, or maybe they prefer anonymity because then they're not being focused on. Because here's one thing I want I want you to remember with this. Or it could be a group of people who are just non-heroes that just despise heroes. Maybe. But you know the difference between hiding in plain sight and being the center of attention is? Yeah. Well, I'll give you a, a prime example of of a person who hid in plain sight and yet made more money than you and I could have ever dreamed of. Man's name was Frank Lucas. He was the biggest heroin dealer in New York City throughout the late 60s and early 70s. Hmm. And he, at the end of his criminal career... Whenever he was arrested in the late 70s, I think it was 77, do you know how much the man was worth? Over $700 million in offshore bank accounts. Damn. And that's back in 1977, so that's equatable to several billion dollars. Yeah. And, okay. And do you know, uh, do you know how he was able to ac- accumulate that? Because by selling a lot of heroin, I guess. Well, not just not just selling a lot of heroin, but by being very careful with his network and never quote never showing his face. Yeah. There were very few times he actually went out in public, and when he finally did go out in public, and they got a picture of him, and they realized just who he was and just what he was doing. Like it, it blew the doors off of anything anyone had ever came close to predicting. And I mean, hell, dude, he pretty much ran the mafia out of uh, out of the five boroughs because of how successful he was. Which is a scary thought, especially when it comes to the drug trade. And you see, I think that. The he, the people that we're dealing with here are well known, but they're not famous. They're hiding something. Some of them have to be hiding something that makes them that you know they have their you know they could be presented as a villain or something like that. But there's one big thing. It's a lot like Frankenstein's monster. You know how. Frankenstein spent all this time on his on his one monster, and I think a lot of these people that are uh, like Nomu. I think Nomu was that one guy's trump card. He was very proud of Nomu. He was just like Nomu is the perfect killing machine, and it'll it'll be able to kill All Might. It didn't though. That's that's the problem. But imagine if he created three or four Nomus. Yeah, that might be an issue. Not just for All Might, but for the majority of uh, the majority of pretty much the heroes out there, because Nomu is just so ridiculously strong, he pretty much crushed Aizawa's skull, no problem, just battered him. I I shudder to think of if they released multiple Nomus that were just as strong as that one. That's a scary thought. Phew. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, this was uh, My Hero Academia. This was Season 1, Episode 13, In Each of Our Hearts. This was the Season 
finale of season one of My Hero Academia. Uh, if you all enjoyed this uh, episode and uh, can't wait for us to watch season two, then uh, yeah, feel free to click the links down below to our uh, Discord and our Patreon. Or if you're watching this on Patreon, we greatly appreciate your support. But if you are looking for a, uh, but if you are looking to watch the full versions of this, they are available on our Patreon. So feel free to do that. So I guess uh, yeah. Until next time, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. And we will see you later, everybody. Peace out. Yeah.